I just started this path of like giving these people hope and then it may be over. At 29, I had already been a professional for 13, 14 years and I was finally given my first opportunity to do a principal role in a classical ballet, which if you know the classical ballet world, 29 is extremely late to be given an opportunity like that. And I was given the role of Firebird. This is everything that I've ever wanted. It was such an incredible high to see, for the first time, such a diverse audience walking into the Metropolitan Opera House because a black woman was going to be up there. My first performance in New York City of the Firebird was my last. I had the most severe injury of my career. In rehearsal for her first starring role as the mythical Firebird, she didn't tell anyone her left leg was hurting badly. I ended up having surgery on my left tibia and having um, a plate screwed in. I had six fractures and I was told I would never dance again. I had my moments of, of doubt and, and feeling like I was letting down like this entire community. It was difficult to overcome, but I never really allowed myself to completely leave the stage, even though I was, you know, not walking and laying in my bed. I found ways of, of improving in some way my, my craft, whether it was having my floor bar teacher come over to my apartment, literally like roll me out of bed, and we would do a, a ballet bar laying on my back or laying on my stomach and just getting my muscles to stay in that ballet shape and form. And it was like, this is an opportunity that I have this all of this time to really just focus on being better when I get back. Stepping onto the stage for the first time after the surgery, it was very overwhelming. I was debuting a role, which is really crazy. I still wasn't fully jumping in class and I was just gonna go on stage and perform this role where I had to jump. It just made me feel like I can't take any of these opportunities for granted. American ballerina Misty Copeland recently became the first African-American woman to be named a principal dancer at the American Ballet in New York. For all of that and this long journey and to overcome this injury and then to be promoted to principal dancer was just incredible and such an unlikely path for any dancer. I try to really just stay focused on what it is I'm doing. Of course there are gonna be days when I'm just am not strong and that's when it's important to have I think like an amazing support system around you and, and people that are there to like lift you up and remind you of your purpose and to keep pushing. I'm Misty Copeland, and this is how I made it. <laughs>